I'm here on the PTR server. We're going to talk about something very important with which is a balance. And when I saw the first balance patch, I was like, okay, this is insane. Super cracked. I was very happy. But then I started thinking a little bit about it and how dangerous this can actually be for the game itself. Um, since we don't have RTA, most of you are going to be very happy, very hyped to play with the new units in Point Warrior. We were going to see here a tier in uh, in a bit, but you are very happy to use these new units in Point War, in Knockout, Hollow Battle, even Arena Casual matches with the homies. But uh, when real actual RTA comes and when you start to face the true whales and the strong people the, the the people that are going to impede you from climbing an RTA then you will see how broken it actually is we're going to talk about TA Tever and um, Elliot's in this video specifically so TA she was a fine unit in my opinion Tia was great she just needed some small tweaks and they actually did some of them which is they removed the entirely the the skill upgrade on this which is decent now if you actually you can remove the ability mons that you have on her and try not to get ability mons on her for skill which is exactly what i'm going to do uh but they increased it from 80 to 100 amazing buff really what she needed and then they decided to increase all of her skills and this is can lead to overloading some units that were already good and now Tia in my opinion is overpowered for the type of gameplay that she is going to play which is speed cleave and some sort of control of source right she is made for that her third skill was good but you buffed let's talk this in this perspective you buffed this skill which was exactly the same as Efface. Now we have a problem here because, and uh, not only that, this skill is better than Long Mian's third skill. <laughs> we have three similar skills, and you buffed TAs to enormous height. This is pretty much a third skill on a second skill. Three turn cooldown, stun, speed down and AP absorption which cycles her a lot. Let's put it in perspective with another unit that is very similar to her now which is Lucas. If you can see Lucas absorbs 30%, she absorbs 20, Lucas stuns on his second skill and gains AP also like TA and this skill over here it absorbs AP or reduces increases whatever you want to do and strips who else does that Lucas but comparing their second skills Lucas is 85% chance and he doesn't even speed down and this skill stuns, speeds down and AP absorbs with the 3 turn cooldown. You, you, you're starting to see the problem, <laughs> you, you see the problem right? And not only that, this skill was already good. This skill was amazing. R6, even without the Kang Ji approach, if you gave her her R6, she would have still, she would have been correct. She would have still been the fastest buffer a uh, speed a uh, booster in the game 130 plus 3 but she does have the speed leader unas doesn't have the speed leader dahlia doesn't have speed leader even if dahlia had the speed leader she would still be faster than dahlia so i really don't understand why they did that they, they over buffed tia to a point that we have a problem now lucas needs a buff because Lucas, not only that, his strip is was already worse than Tricky's and Fang Nuxi's, which was very similar to him. Now his second skill is worse than TA. Way worse than TA. So we, we are having here a balance uh, issue. Now let's go and talk about Elliot. And Elliot, we're going to leave the last, the best for last. I say that Tever, Tever, he was insanely cracked. Um, Raven, I do believe that she was somewhat balanced as well. She got much better, but she uh, also is very susceptible to the same issues that all other UE units have, which is Everett, which is counter attacking. She attacks multiple times AOE. She's definitely going to get Avatar a lot. But Elliot is another big problem, which he was already a good Esper, especially at R6. R6 Elliot he was triple s unit no problem at all this third skill over here with his r6 was irresistible full strip into cooldown reduction giving him crit rate um resist which is fantastic it comboed off with his second skill and then he they changed him completely his r2 on his second skill is was good but they made it correct they made it like another an s3 skill 
like in power terms and then his second skill they look at this look at this third skill are you are you guys seeing this third skill hollow battle with this guy you, you can't win it doesn't matter which type of team you're going to use if you even if you outspeed him with Unas or something like that, he's so tanky with R6 Sally or with th something else, he's just going to win because he's going to... Even if he doesn't have skills to cooldown reduce, now he is guaranteed to taunt two units in a fight against three. You see the problem with this Elliot? Even if he actually got just one unit, it will still be very strong. Now, manageable, definitely just one unit, perfect. But the problem is that he's going to completely lock you down and there's nothing you can do about it. There's no counterplay. Even worse, he's now going to taunt two units which are guaranteed to attack you, which in terms is going to reduce your skills by two turns. If they don't have cleanses you lock down their team completely especially if you have ocean waves on this guy he's going to keep using that skill keep using that his second skill sharp stratagem also taunts another unit you can manage to get three units taunted and you can completely lock down a team with elliot and even if they manage to cleanse they're fully cool down they can't do anything to stop that you know how oppressive that is going to be insanely strong very very broken if you want to add that some in, uh, salt to injure you can run him on snow and if they actually get uh, the attack they can even get stunned and don't even use their first skills at all keep the cycling going keep the control going and elliot is just going to be mega oppressive and i don't really think that lilith thought about that mainly because their pvp is dead they killed PvP, we are all laughing and it's very fun and very enjoyable. My god, Elliot and TA and all of these crazy shenanigans. But when the shit hits the fan, <laughs> you're going to see how broken this actually is. Elliot, he's very fast, man. Look at this. Elliot is 105 plus 7. This is the same speed as Fang Nuxi. Now, we're talking about Fang Nuxi being super broken, but he does what Fang Nuxi does. Irresistible, you can't miss, even if he has the miss rate of buff, he can't miss, because it is irresistible and he can't miss, so it doesn't matter. And on top of that, he's going to taunt your entire team, he's going to fully cooldown reduce, it can't be resisted. If you see the problem, I'm just repeating myself so it can ingrain into your minds and into your head, like, was this really necessary? Was this what we needed in the game? And now let's talk about the problem in this room. He is a massive, massive problem. Where is the boy? Where is him? Here he is. Therefore, now look at look at this. L look at this skill. Look at this skill right here. This is only his second skill. Now, even if he if they got or gave him his S3, all of the buffs that he currently has, it would have been fine. But look at this. Uh, it analyzes everything. Blah 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 blah. blah. Then look at the end. Look at the end. Gains Nico Sense for one turn. Upon killing a target, enemies killed by Tevor can't be revived. When ascended, he starts the battle with it. Okay, what, what Nico Sense does? Crit damage plus 30%. Another thing to note is that his new R2 gives him 100% crit rate, so he is Gaius. 30% increase in critical damage, chance of taking critical hits minus 100%. And if that wasn't all, resets all of Terror's ability cooldowns at start of the turn. What were they thinking? What were they thinking? Because this skill over here, as, as you clearly saw, he gains a stack of Nico Sense when he kills the target. So he can kill the target if he, if, if he Astralis, he has his third skill back to nuke another unit. He can't be critted, he's 100% crit rate, so you don't need crit rate on him anymore. He gets a lot of extra damage from all of the stuff he has. He got an amazing speed buff. He got around, what, plus 12 speed? And if you use him on wind, he's even faster right now. And with Tia's new buff, with Kangji, with Abigail, this guy is going to one-shot teams like it's nothing. He deals 330% damage plus 600% on tanks, that is going to melt tanks, plus his 30%, plus 
plus everything else, to, uh, Ethan, attack buff, every other buff in the world, he's just going to demolish them. And the worst part is that you can't one-shot him as easily, because if you build him with some tank, and the whales that have him at R3 and more, he's going to get all of those extra stats, all of those cracked up stuff. Let me see his... The <laughs> Look at these R4! The first ability cast deals 15% extra damage. And th this skill over here also performs a pursuit attack with this to kill, I think it's the first hit, to sear, you apply a sear. They, they overdid it. They overdid it. It's I don't really want to be pessimistic, and it, this is not the case. It's just that Lilith needs to be very careful with this, because now... These characters are way stronger than anything else that is on the game currently. You remember this guy over here? I'm going to show you. I, I think you still remember who he is. Like, you, you see the demon? You, you see this guy, which is literally a demon, is weaker than an inspector cat. He, look at this menace, he is weaker than an inspector cat, he's the berserker, he's meant to smash your face in. And what's the point of using this guy anymore, because okay, yeah, he doesn't die, but he can be cooldown reduced, you can't remove Nico Sense, so he will always have that 100% crit, re uh, crit redu reduction for the first turn, and he's definitely going to kill one thing most of the time, he's going to reset his skill cooldowns, he's going to kill another thing, get another Nico Sense stack, and keep the cycle going and this guy right now doesn't deal any damage his resonance sucks and the demon is worse like the cat is pretty much second best character right now close to xp and feng nuxi and jang julie is the worst esper right now pretty much why would you use him why would you even use him even in cleaves like if you have tever and him even tever is better than him because you can just kill the uh unit that has the 100 percent uh extra damage on aoe you kill that unit and you're going to do more damage than jingji so why would you use him cecilia you can even use her against cleaves and uh on point where etc jang julie is useless right now pretty much useless even in demon more form with the highest attack he deals like what 50k Without attack buff, and with attack buff is around 70k, I'm pretty damn sure that that cat is going to deal way more damage than Jiang Julie, especially because the cat doesn't need crit rate at R2. And this guy gets sear on this skill, like, unbelievable. And like, if we, if we talk about the sisters, let's say the sisters. The sisters, they were a character that they were good. They were decent, but their cooldowns were a little bit too high, and they needed some small tweaks. The, the Sisters is the perfect example of balance. Amazing buff, like this skill over here, reducing the cooldown, giving it the R2, amazing skill. Comparing to all of the other new skills that have billions of texts and all of those crazy effects, amazing skill. You can upkeep your defense buff forever now with Ocean. You have the miss rate up to make them deal even less damage. You cycle it faster now and the skill over here can revive. Like simple, a small tweak on their kit to make them relevant, to make you okay. Now I'm going to pick the sisters because they are reviver and I really don't need to use Gabrielle for the defense buff. Well, I can use the sisters now for a defense based team. I you see the point. And uh, Raven, now she is very specific for cleave and for control. She is good. She's not a uh, nuke tiered anymore, but she has her niche. Now, if we can say about all of the most recent units, and let's talk about Javid, for example. What is this character doing compared to Tia right now? Or compared to Elliot? How can you compare Javid to Elliot? Look at this design and look at his kit comparing to Elliot right now. Even before, I, I would still put Elliot above Javid, but now there's no comparison. The newer characters, they are very underwhelming. Look at Yuhime. Look, like, why would you even pick Yuhime instead of TA? You wouldn't. You wouldn't. They made it yet again another um, thing that if you're going to play speed, you're just going to use these units. And if you're going to use tanks, you're just going to use these units. So if they don't release one as per rule, it's going to exactly happen the same way again. So I can use TA, you can use TA, I can use R2 Ethan, you can use R2 Ethan, and then it's going to be who has the better gear. And if I have better or faster gear than you, haha, see you later, nerd, I'm going to outspeed you. There's no skill expression in, okay, I know you use TA, I'm going to steal it, and then let's see what you're going to do. Then you will probably, okay, he stole my TA, I have to use Oli or Yuhimi. 
why would I use Yuhime now if I can use Tia all the time, if I can use Tia in every other single content? So this is what I say, like, let's say even Elaine, for example, the, the, the most recent, even the older ones, Ophelia right now, Ophelia is super outdated, we have other characters that do much better than her, Zora, for example, she needed also a small tweak, and we have other units that also needed some small tweaks, like, um, let's say, Tang Shuan, he could have gotten something else or reverted some of his changes on his third skill, I really like the AP reduction on his skill and his ignore defense on his S2, they removed it and I do think Tang Chuan is great, it's a nice unit, he just needed a little bit of tweak to be uh, to, to justify you picking him up. And let's say Yun Chuan for example, why would you use Yun Chuan other than PvE? I know that he was made for PvE but still a small tweak for PvP would have been nice because as you can see all of these changes on this balance patch were catered specifically for PvP. You rarely use Luoyan outside of PvP, you rarely use TA outside of PvP, Tever, you rarely use him outside of PvP. Now you can use him everywhere. Like, he's literally the new Gaius. And they, they, they went with that trope. They saw, okay, they like Gaius. Gaius is the norm or he is the, the standard. Okay, so if they really like Tever and they want Tever to be a really good character, they love Gaius. Okay, he's literally Gaius. Every single turn he can use his third skill because he starts with the Nico Sense, he's going to reset his cooldown abilities. If he attacks on the unit that does have the 100% splash damage, 150%, it's going to clear the entire wave or it's going to kill one of uh, a harder target. On bosses, he's going to deal insane damage. It's, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. That guy, he's cracked to the bones right now. Super hard to kill, going to deal insane damage. He's very fast as well. What can we do if they are using like Ollie, Abigail and the new revivers, Cecilia or even the sisters? Giving him like, okay, I finally killed that damn cat. I am going to revive him. And then if he actually managed to kill someone else, he's going to get the Nico Sense stats and he's going to get the crit rate deduction. So uh, we thought that this girl right here was not bad or was super strong and what they did is okay she's not as strong anymore because even TA can kind of deal with her right now reducing her AP reducing her AP with her S1 reducing her AP with her second skill and then you will start to see okay JYY is not as oppressive anymore hide we already know how to deal with Hyde. So speed and control, they went really so much overboard with it that it, it's it's cracked. It's cracked, man. It's cracked. Lilith, be careful with what you're doing. You overdone yourself. TA and Elliot, they need a small nerf. Or you can still... Uh, you're still in time to change it, especially cut that Elliot to one as it should. I don't understand why he can attack two targets. Like Even without all of the buffs, even without any buff, just adding one more target was insane. Who told you to do that? Unbelievably, unbelievable. Other than that, I do believe that there were good buffs, but the, you just went a little bit overboard. A little bit overboard. Be careful, you're going in the right path. Great balance patch. The new Esper also Valeria. She looks much better than I expected. And I can't wait to see what you're going to do for the next patch. Because I'm pretty sure Shade or RTA are right around the corner. These uh, updates or this update in specifically the balance patch was all for PvP. So why are they doing PvP balance changes if we don't have any type of PvP? So in the next patch or at least in the other patch we might see PvP finally, especially since the Withering Flame is coming to an, an end. <laughs> Guys, thank you for being here. Leave a comment thing what you thought about this specific point. I am Aeon and I'll see you guys next time.